From the Target 12 investigators, an ethics code violation involving a state Supreme Court justice is reversed. Now that sets the stage for a possible appeal that would end up in Supreme Court. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto has been tracking this case for years and joins us now with the new details. The ethics violation fine was $200, but the legal battle so far has taken three years. Filing these for 30 years for Judge Bruce Stern reverses the Ethics Commission decision that Supreme Court Justice Francis Flaherty violated the law by not including his position with the St. Thomas More Society on his ethics filings. The complaint was filed by Helen McGonigal Hyde, who claimed Flaherty should have disclosed he was president of the Catholic organization since he ruled on cases involving the Diocese of Providence. Flaherty wrote the 2016 unanimous decision that the statute of limitations had expired on the law supporting Hyde's civil lawsuit alleging she was raped by the late Brendan Smith. The Catholic priest was convicted in the 90s of sexually assaulting 143 children over a 40-year span. He can't credibly claim that this was an innocent mistake. He should have known this is something he should have been disclosing, especially while sitting on church cases. They acted as... Judge Stern ruled the Ethics Commission was erroneous in fining Flaherty for not disclosing the information, writing the commission's decision contained no finding that Flaherty's actions were deliberate. The commission is scheduled to discuss the Flaherty case on Wednesday with the option to petition Stern's decision to the Supreme Court. Retired Supreme Court Justice Robert Flanders tells Target 12 the high court has dealt with deciding cases involving sitting justices in the past, and he says no matter what the decision, it will be criticized. Either they're going to be ruling against a colleague uh, or ruling in favor of a colleague uh, and subjecting themselves to the usual criticisms that this is just inside baseball favoritism. Justice Flaherty, who would have to recuse himself if the case is heard by the Supreme Court, tells us only the decision speaks for itself. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.